Hey everyone, welcome to Illinois. Driving across the state trying to get home to California. Illinois is in the heartland, in the Midwest. Lots and lots of corn, lots and lots of soybean, lots and lots of agriculture as we look around here, as far as the eye can see. But you can see the shadow of something that's moving um, behind me. And you guessed it, that's renewable energy at its finest a wind turbine. I saw this wind turbine from about 50 miles away on the highway so I thought I'd stop and give you guys a close-up look and as we get closer you can see there it is and there's another one behind it. Now each of these wind turbines generates about 6.5 million kilowatt hours of energy every year. That's enough to power about 500 homes 24 hours a day. That's a lot. And this thing is huge. It's 300 feet up to the top of that, the topmost blade as it rotates around. And it needs about five miles per hour of wind to operate. Now, they now you can see the gate is set up here to prevent us from getting too close. You can see uh, danger falling material. You can see danger restricted area. Warning electric shock hazard and hard hat area. Well I don't have a hard hat and I'm not authorized but I say in the interest of science, I am a science teacher so uh, isn't that authorized? I'm gonna get close because I want you to experience what it's like to be up close to one of these guys. So follow me. Hopefully the cops don't come by and bust me. But these things are absolutely huge. I'm going to get into the shadow of the sun and get up close. This thing is monstrous. And as you look up, notice there is no sound. There's not even really a hissing. And I see no birds being killed. And I'm getting up right underneath it right now. Oh my God, this thing is absolutely huge and it's kind of scary being under here, seeing this thing come in at you, these huge blades. So clean, quiet, renewable energy. The only downside might be that they are a bit of an eyesore, at least in my opinion. As you drive across the country, these things, especially in the Midwest, they're very, very popular. They're popping up everywhere. Um, as far as the eye can see in some places, you'll see these. So yeah, a bit of an eyesore, but absolutely clean energy. No fossil fuels being burned, no carbon into the atmosphere. Um, pretty amazing stuff and it's the future. We're going to be seeing these all over the world is my prediction. Okay folks I'm almost out of here but I wanted to raise one more point about these guys um, before you think that this is the end-all be-all in renewable energy and that is that the wind doesn't always blow and so these guys are not always generating electricity. Also you need a particular type of wind to move these wind turbines and so they're not going to work everywhere. You can't just put them, uh, you can't put them in San Francisco the same as you can put them in Sacramento, the same as you can put them in Berkeley, Oakland, um, wherever. You need a particular type of wind. Uh, but the technology keeps changing as we'll see in the course um, and new fangled contraptions keep being created to capture the energy of the wind because as we know as long as the sun is shining and there's uneven heating and cooling of the earth's surface you're going to have wind so why not capture that mechanical energy and make electricity that's clean and never runs out. See ya!